Welcome to Swangen. I'm your host, Janine Blake. On today's program, we bring you a beneficiary profile of Gordon Norberg, the manager of Marketing and Traffic Coordination West for NTCL, the Northern Transportation Company Limited. Northern Transportation Company Limited, or NTCL as it's known, is a northern company which provides economic, reliable, and comprehensive marine transportation and related services in northern Canada and Alaska. It is the principal transportation link for the movement of bulk petroleum products and dry cargo to communities across the north from Alaska's north slope to Iqaluit on Baffin Island defense installations, and oil and gas exploration sites. NTCL is a long-established northern company with over 60 years of service and experience in northern operations. It has provided marine transportation and related services throughout the Mackenzie River watershed since 1934 and along the Western Arctic coast since 1957. Arctic service was extended to Alaska's North Slope in 1963, and in 1975, Kuwaitan operations were inaugurated. In 1987, NTCL established Nortran, a marshalling and packaging service for sea lift cargo out of Montreal to the Eastern Arctic. In 1996, NTCL acquired the contract for bulk petroleum product delivery to Eastern Arctic communities. The delivery of products throughout the North just doesn't happen. It takes a team of experienced, dedicated, professional employees and a significant inventory of equipment and facilities to ensure deliveries occur. During its history, the company's equipment and handling methods have changed significantly. In days gone by, much of the dry cargo was loaded and unloaded by hand. Fuel was shipped in drums. Today, cargo is shipped in containers products are shipped in bulk. While the equipment and handling methods have changed over time, the dedication, innovation, and commitment of NTCL's employees is something which has not changed. takes pride in the technical expertise and experience of its highly skilled and well-trained workforce. As well as its impressive inventory of vessels, equipment, barges, and shore-based facilities. The company and its employees have been recognized by the Northwest Territories Chamber of Commerce with the Business of the Year Award and by Human Resources Development Canada with the prestigious Employment Equity Certificate of Merit Award for its innovative Aboriginal employment, training and career development program. Gordon Norberg is the Manager of Marketing and Traffic Coordination West for NTCL.
His parents are Lena Danielson and the late John Norberg. They were living at a trading post called Reed Island, which is located between Kugluktuk and Holman Island. The trading post has been closed down for many years now. Gordon and his family lived there until he was eight years old. We moved to Tuck, to Tuyuk. Um, my parents decided it was time for me to go to school. I was already eight, and it was either moved to Kugluktuk, it was copper mine at the time, uh, or uh, moved to Tuck. And my father decided to move to Tuck because he was working for the Hudson Bay at the time. And he was a captain for the Hudson Bay, and that was where the ships were loaded as uh, when they resupplied the Arctic. You know, so that's how we ended up in the Western Arctic. Nin 1956, we moved to Tuck. As I said earlier, we I was eight years old when we moved to Tuck. Uh, at the time, I couldn't speak uh, a word of English but understood it quite well because both my parents uh, spoke English as well as Inuyinuktun, which was my, my working language at, at the age of eight. So it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun moving to a community that has a, had a di different language, a different dialect as well, because I uh, couldn't understand a lot of what the kids were saying. So, but it was, so that was the early part. Eh? So, but I picked up English very quickly in school and I always enjoyed school, so I uh, went through grade one to six in Tuck. Um, summers were nice, I enjoyed the summers, but we were always busy, eh? and no TV and radio back then. You know? Life by the sea was always nice. Hard work, but nice. Yeah. Well, because our father was away uh, for long stretches as he was a captain of the Hudson Bay in, in the summer, he was also, also trapped in winter, so obviously he's gone quite a bit, and we had to carry, you know, the brothers and I had to carry the kind of the workload, including splitting, you know, cutting wood and splitting wood, uh, hauling ice, uh, filling up the ice barrel, um, all of those kind of things, feeding the dogs, you know, uh, going to, out to get wood with, dog, with, with the dog team. And, Everything just to keep going because there, there was no Forrester furnaces back then. You know, uh, when you woke up in the morning in the winter time, she was cold in the house. So in the summers, we we had to put up a lot of fish to feed the dogs. You know, so that was a lot of work. We had to haul water by 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 the barrel and by the bucket, and you know, never ending. You you were you were never bored during the summertime. Gordon attended grades one to six in Tuck. Then he had to move away from home to attend high school. The family stayed in Tuck, and uh, at the time, if you wanted to keep going, and my parents wanted me to keep going, obviously, uh, I went to Grolier Hall in Nunavik uh, for my uh, grade seven and eight. Actually, uh, I was only there two years, and then uh, I went to Fort Smith Grandin College invited me to go to school there, and uh, it was funny, my father wouldn't uh, sign the papers. He thought I was going to become a priest, you know, and long ways from it. Um, but my mother said, you're going, you know, but for the study environment, eh? So I took my high school, grade 9 to 12, and uh, graduated in Fort Smith through Grandin College. After these messages, we'll talk with Gordon about his work with NTCL. We're back with our profile of Gordon Norberg, the manager of marketing and traffic coordination west for NTCL. In the first part of our story, we talked to Gordon about his family and education. Now we'll talk to him about his work. I think it was 1974. Uh, I landed a job with a with a GWT in Inuvik, and it was with the Petroleum Resources Group. That particular group, if you remember, and if you can. If we go back to then, uh, the oil play was going, starting to go strong in the Delta. Uh, the Dempster Highway was under construction, so our particular group at the time was charged or tasked with monitoring the, the developments in the Delta. And 
after that, I went to Collingwood doing for about a year um, with economic development in the employment and training side. Back to Inuvik again, still with the GWT. In 1977, I joined Dome Petroleum for about five years in the human resources and, and, and then went back into their, with their engineering group. A number of uh, polar gas come into the picture at the time. There was the polar gas pipeline projects. I went to work for them for about a year. And then I went on my own into Saskatchewan. I had asked my brother-in-law if he could teach an Enoch to farm. It's my wife is from Saskatchewan. And he said, well, if you're willing to learn, he said, you come on down. So we moved down, uh, lived in Saskatchewan for four and a half years, learned how to farm as well as worked on the uh, production side of the oil industry at the same time. So Then I went into public service again, uh, 10 years with the Housing Corp, and was two and a half years with MACA prior to joining NTCL in 98. So very quickly, that's the resume. Yeah. Carmen Loberg is the president of Norterra, the parent company of NTCL. It's the uh, largest uh, Pan-Arctic marine resupply company in Canada. We uh, sail throughout the entire uh, Canadian Arctic out of a head office in Hay River. So we operate the uh, barge, tug and barge system down the Mackenzie River, uh, resupplying fuel and dry goods to all the communities uh, in the Western Arctic and into the Central Arctic. Uh, in, uh, the, in the western part of Nunavut, we sail out of the port of Churchill and resupply the Kavilik region with fuel and, um, and dry cargo resupply. <clears throat> and in the Eastern Arctic, we resupply that out of Montreal. So uh, we do all the sea lift work for the Canadian Arctic. It's a good company to work for. It's, uh, it, it's like anybody else. I mean, you, you, you need to participate uh, in order to make it work properly you know, within the organization. It's going through a a transition. Uh, it had been a Crown Corporation for for some time, and so there was the transition from the Crown, from from being a Crown Corporation to a private company uh, has taken some time. As, as in, I think uh, everyone's aware that it's a uh, invalid owned, um, and Nunacy is the IDC and Nunacy own uh, Norterra, who in turn are the, the parent arm of NTCL. So. But uh, I've enjoyed it, uh, my time so far, um, very challenging, and, but they're, they're a very good company to work for. If we'd need to break it down probably into um, at least two seasons. We're, we're very seasonally oriented at this time, and this is something that the company is trying to move away from in, in, in by diversifying. But, Primarily, uh, the summer months are, are consumed with moving cargo north and on a 24-hour basis. And so May through to October, we're, uh, we're very busy um, moving cargo. My job is to coordinate the movement of all that cargo to where it's supposed to go. In the off-season, there's all of the other activities that kick in, and that's the marketing side, which is, um, partly responsible for the Western Arctic and, and, and especially in the Ktikmud region. So that, you know, you're visiting customers, uh, uh, soliciting more business, uh, paying, you know, paying visits to your, to the people in the, in the communities and seeing if we can do things better. Um, typical day right now, I mean, uh, we work very closely with a lot of people and there's a tremendous amount of coordination that has to take place. My role is to kind of see the big picture and to work with, as an example, the cargo operations group, with a, with a technical and maintenance group, and with a marine operations group. And together we have to make everything work so that you know, everything from fielding calls on the telephone uh, people wanting pricing, as an example, or, or rates. Uh, people wanting information on cutoff dates. People wanting information on uh, when are we going? You know, when are we sailing? You know, when are we going to be arriving at community so and so? Uh, 
So it's a, a lot of telephone work and a lot of, uh, a lot of logistical planning uh, uh, goes on around the, the majority of the day. And a big part of my role too is, uh, a huge part of my role I should say, is procuring and, uh, and coordinating the movement of all the bulk petroleum that we, that we move north all of the fuel that's required in the, in, the, in the Arctic communities, as well as the river. Swang and we'll return after these messages for more on our profile of Gordon Norberg. When asked about his favorite duties, Gordon replied that he loves a challenge. Probably, um, and this is something that I've always enjoyed right from the beginning of my work life, is solving, uh, solving problems. Everything is not always smooth and, or as easy as one likes to make it, to make it out. So, I, I particularly like trying to work through solutions that, um, so that things get done. You know, you may come again, up against a roadblock. You know, earlier in my career, I was um, considered somewhat as Mr. Fix-It uh, and, and in my movement through the public service where, where we had problems in certain offices. I'd be one of the people sent in to say, you know, fix it, um, a lot of, um, and I enjoy uh, um, challenging, uh, like a challenging environment. Once it becomes routine, I, I lose interest in it. So, and this job uh, doesn't get routine in the summer. It's not routine in the summer. So there's always something. Uh, I mean, we, we we move a lot of cargo. We have a lot of vessels in the water. Um, we have time frames that are very tight sometimes, and we, we have to find solutions to, to, to get all our work done. So that part I, I, I quite enjoy. Most of them are uh, probably things outside of our immediate control. Uh, and, and, and in anybody's time or world, that, that presents challenges. Um, it may sound funny when we're shipping to the Arctic, but forest fires are one of our biggest fears. All of our fuel arrives in here by train from Edmonton. And there's lots of bridges. And forest fires uh, have burnt bridges out that have stopped the flow of fuel. So those kind of things worry us when we see forest fires, say in Alberta. Right? And how do we get all the product that's required in the Arctic if that happens, if there's a uh, disruption in supply? So a lot of these I, uh, items are outside of our direct control, and um, and it's happened where we've we've lost train service as an example, using that example uh, for a week or ten days. And in fact, last year we lost it after that big fire in Chisholm, until they were able to recertify bridges that the trains crossed. So things like that are uh, that are outside of our control or or challenges. Other challenges, obviously, are um, a lot of them. Some of them are internal. You know, I mean, you always have your internal politics that you have to work through, and as in any organization, you know. Um, and in trying to uh, get the job done, you are really have to work with a lot of people, so that you know your people skills have to be there. I mean, you're you're not in charge of everybody. Right, so you, you, my role is to try and keep keep a team going, or as a as a member of the team, to make sure we all do our part uh, in order to get all the the freight uh, delivered. You know, at the end of the day, uh, doesn't matter that uh, what we do, as long as the customer is happy, and as long as the customer gets their product whether it's in Tulujoak or Saks Harbor or, or in Tulita, they don't care what's going on at the other as long as they get their product or their cargo. You know? Although Norberg has little time for travel during the peak season, it is an important part of his job. 
during the winter months or during the off season, yes, there's uh, there's a fair amount of travel uh, uh, related to the marketing side, to, um, related to visiting um, our customers, whether they're in Calgary or in Winnipeg or they're in Kogloktok or Cambridge Bay, Nunavik, you know, the major centers primarily. But I, I get I try and get to as many communities as I can. Yeah. And, it can get onerous at times, but uh, it's, it's showing the flag. I mean, uh, you know, the message that we want to send is, is that to the Univaluate, especially on the Western side, is you own this company. Are there things we could be doing better? That, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah. But yes, there is travel involved. In the summers, I enjoy gardening with, with my wife. Mm. Mm leave everything behind, you go outside, you, you help water, weed, whatever it might take, you know, you survive the bugs, you know, the mosquitoes. And, uh, so I enjoy doing that in the summertime. Um, in the winters, uh, I do a lot of my own, uh, say, housework you know, in terms of carpentry or plumbing or electrical work. So I, I like doing those kind of things. And, I was doing a crossword before you come in. And I, I do crossword puzzles as a way to get clear your mind a bit, you know, and things like that. As for his advice for young people, Norberg is quick to stress the need for a proper education. Well, first of all, um, finish your school. Make sure that they've got their education. You know? And this is something that we've been very strong in promoting. Uh, in any of our travels, that kids stay in school, get minimum, get your grade 12, you know, because you're not going to go anywhere. That's that's number one. Get your education first. And the second thing is be prepared to show up. You know, if you're going to work for us, then you show up on time, and, um, and when you're needed, not when you want to be there. Yes and be prepared to work long hours and, and work hard and work steady and, and stick to it. But try, uh, most of all, is get, get, get an education. And the more you get, uh, the better off you're going to be. You know, whether it's college, a trade, you know, university. Get something you can hang your hat on. Definitely. Then come see us. The question of the week is, in which community does Gordon Norbert work? Phone in tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Give your name, your phone number, and the answer. The names will be drawn at 4.30 p.m. That was our program for this week. Thank you for watching, Swanman. I'm your host, Janine Blake, and I'll see you next week. Production assistance for this program was provided by Norterra Incorporated.